Hello guys, in this video I'm going to tell you something about the alternative fingerings TC and TF and later in this video I'm going to tell you something about the G-sharp or C-sharp and I'm sure that these alternative fingerings will definitely make you playing the saxophone way easier and to start the letter T stands for trilling so the trill C and the trill F and we can use them in both octaves on the saxophone. So it stands for trilling between two notes, but it's also mainly used for chromatic passages. And we can notice that with these alternative fingerings, there are small differences in intonation and sound. The TC, this alternative fingering is mainly used for chromatic passages or for trilling between the B and the C. And normally, Trilling between the B and the C is not always very comfortable and it requires a fast accurate change between the fingerings. So, to experience the convenience from this alternative fingering, uh, I've made a little sheet music where you can try out the difference. So, first with the regular fingerings and after that with the alternative fingerings. <laughs> with the alternative fingerings for me it's really convenient and I'm sure that for you works also that way in addition some people consider the TC as a better or another sound for me it depends on the spot of the music and whether the note is long or not the next one is the TF and this alternative fingering is also used for chromatic passages and for trilling between the F and the F sharp. And also this alternative fingering is on the right side of the saxophone and you play it with your ring finger and it's between the F and the E. So to try out this convenience I made also for this a little sheet music and first we try it with the regular fingerings and after that with the alternative fingerings. So. Now with the alternative fingerings. In the last part of the video, I want to tell you something about holding the G sharp or holding the C sharp. And these two alternative fingerings are very useful. And they are on the left side of the saxophone. And here you see the G sharp and you press it with your pink. And underneath is the C sharp and you also press it down with your pink. So these alternative fingerings are mainly used in keys of three sharps or more. And you can hold the G sharp when you're playing the scale of A major. And here you see an example of that. Besides that, this link mechanism of the G-sharp also provides that we can play the G-sharp, but we are holding the C-sharp. So here you see an example. And you are not pressing the G-sharp, but the C-sharp. And you will notice that you will hear the G sharp sound. So this was my story about the alternative fingerings, but we are not done. In the next video, Hanneke will explain also something about alternative fingering. Thank you for listening and bye bye.